for a little experimentation here on Debbie Taylor in your day. Dan Clements joins us from the Imagination Station with some bubbles this morning, Dan. Well, I actually brought uh, some of our favorite experiments. I have two different flammable gases. Okay. And we're going to talk about how their properties are just a little bit different from each other. Please do. Uh, okay. Tell me how this one's so going to yeah, go. Go ahead and put on your safety glasses here. Um, the first one I brought is hexane. Okay, and I don't I have, see much in there. I, uh, there's not a lot of liquid in there. Okay, but if you guys can see, there's very little. But what happens is hexane is very volatile, okay. so that means it turns into a, ga a gl uh, gas very, very quickly. Okay. Okay. So I don't need a lot of the liquid. All right, to get some of that flammable gas. So down here, I have like a little candle lit sure. already. And the cool thing about hexane is it's heavier than air. So it creates a vapor that is heavier than air. And that vapor will sink then? It will sink down. So I can kind of pour it out of this glass just like it was a liquid. Really? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uncap my thing here. I'm actually just gonna pour just the gas. Okay. I didn't see anything. No, no liquid came out of there. No liquid came out. Okay. So I just poured the gas, and you can see that little poof. Okay. That little fireball. Uh, we have a closer shot. Are you able to do that one more time for we us? We might be able to try it one more time. We'll give it a try. It's science, right? Sure. Ready? Three, two, one. Very right. cool. One more time. Pretty cool fireball. So this is, uh, you can liken it to maybe like a uh, solvent like paint thinner. Yeah. So you gotta be very careful. Obviously don't try any of these things at home. Right. Um, but you gotta be very careful when you're working with solvents like this because the vapors can be heavier than air. They could sink down. So they're still flammable. So you gotta and, be and very invisible. Careful. And invisible. As well. Okay. Okay. So I brought, I'm gonna put this one out. Okay. And I brought another flammable gas. It's over here in this balloon. Can you hand that to me, Chris? Most certainly This can. is actually methane gas. Okay. Okay. And I told you how the hexane was heavier than air. Methane is actually lighter than air. Okay. So it will rise up. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually have uh, you hold some flames in your hands today. All right. We're okay. going to talk about how the methane is going to help us do I'm that. I'm game. Okay. So go ahead and take your left hand and start soaking your left hand in some water there up to like your, you know, forearm. Okay. And I'm going to start creating some methane bubbles. Okay. Now, since methane is a combustible gas, all right, when I put a flame to these bubbles while you're holding them, okay. you should get a pretty tall flame of fire here for you guys to see. And it's pretty cool. So I'm going to create some bubbles. I think your hand's ready to go there. Okay. So a little bit more. You can always move more bubbles. All right, good. So Chris, go ahead and scoop up as many of those bubbles as you can in one hand and just hold it out in front of you like this. Perfect. Okay, and we're gonna light them on fire and see what happens. Okay. You ready? So it's gonna go way up here like this. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Just like that. We got a pretty big fireball pretty cool. here. Pretty cool. Now, Chris, go ahead and warm your hand up again. We'll do, do it. We'll do, do it one more time. Okay. Okay. But you, did you see how the flames kind of went up I did. into the air? That's because that hex or that methane is lighter it's than lighter. air. It's lighter. Okay. So the flames go up. So if it was heavier, they'd be going down, and then they'd come back up on your hand. Would, which wouldn't be good. Which would not be good. Okay. okay. And your hand is also protected from all that water. Right. That you covered it in, because that high heat capacity of water protects your hand. We don't. We can't heat it up fast enough for it to Very cause cool. any harm to your hand. All right. You ready to do it one more time, Chris? We got our flammable gas, methane. Okay. Very good. Ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> All right. Big flame tower there. Methane rising up in the air, catching on fire, combusting is pretty cool stuff. I can't win Powerball, <laughs> but I can hold fire in my hand. Yep. Uh, both are j equally as cool, right? All right, Dan, what's going on with you guys at the Imagination Station? Well, coming up next Monday is Martin Luther King Day. Okay. Um, so we'll be open on Martin Luther King Day. So if the kids have off school, you can come on out, check out some cool science experiments. Maybe we'll talk about some flammable gases and other cool stuff. And you stuff. guys had an extension, too, to the Mythbusters, That's correct? right, Mythbusters. The explosive exhibition is extended uh, through April there. So you can come on out. If you haven't seen that yet, come check it out. All right. Very cool, Dan. Appreciate that one. Stay with us. There is so much more WT11. Your day coming up right after this.